If you are an expecting mom or dad and wondering what to pack in your little one's diaper bag for outings or just quick trips, then keep on watching because I'm going to share with you what you really need and some extras too. So to obviously pack a diaper bag, you first need a diaper bag. Um, you definitely do not need to like go out and buy a high-end diaper bag. You can use an old backpack or something that you already own. I wanted to try a higher end diaper bag. This is from Dane and Dover. It is the largest indie diaper bag that they make. This color is ash blue. It's no longer on the site right now, but um, they come out with new colors every so often. So if you're wanting to check it out, uh, I'll leave it linked in the description below. I did try and find a dupe for this bag for you guys. I couldn't really find an exact one, but I know a lot of new mamas really like the uh, Fawn diaper bag, and there is a dupe to that one on Amazon. It's the Mrs. or Miss Fong. So I'll have that linked as well because it is a great diaper bag. A lot of my friends have that one and they really like it. So yeah, check it out. For travel, it is a great bag. If you're more minimalist, it might not be the best everyday bag for you, but you can still stick around um, to find out some of the must-have diaper bag items that you need. So on the outside of the Dane and Dover, I have two pockets right here, and they all go to the same compartment. So I usually keep like my phone and wallet in this one. So this is just my fossil wallet. I really like having a smaller wallet because uh, depending on the day if I'm just gonna go to the grocery store I'm obviously not gonna bring this huge thing I'll show you what I do bring so I can swap it out really easily everything's in here so I just know make sure I grab this <laughs> there are two side pockets to keep like bottles or water um, sometimes I keep my water on this side sometimes I store it inside it just kind of depends the back does have two little zippers on the side they do come with stroller straps so if you want to use it for that you can I keep a toy for Freya in one of these smaller pockets because she is starting to teeth. She has been liking this like chew toy, so I keep a toy in here for her. This is a great feature. The bag can slide over your luggage when traveling too. Strapped to um, the stroller clips at the top, I have my little doggy bag for Freya. If she has like a poopy diaper somewhere while we're out and I don't want it to like stink up a friend's house or something, I'll put it in this and then throw it in the trash. I also have on the side a little pacifier holder that's like clipped onto my bag. When she was a newborn, she loved her passy. Nowadays, she doesn't really take it, but I still have one in here just in case. When she's like really fighting sleep and doesn't want to use me as a pacifier, she will take her passy. So it's nice to have for like car rides and stuff. Um, so yeah, I still keep that in here. On the other side, I have my little lippy clip. These are really cute with some chapstick in it really easy to reach at all times. And then my sister um, gave me this little anime charm, so I keep him on here too. I really love this zipper. It's like really thick and durable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open her up. And the first thing that we're gonna take out is my ring sling. <laughs> I really love to just have a ring sling, a baby carrier on me at all times because when I don't pack one is when I need it. Like the other day, you know, she was really overstimulated at a friend's house and thankfully I had packed this and you know, she really enjoys contact napping. If I put her in her pack and play or the stroller, she'll freak out. So having this um, in that situation was key. So now I just kind of throw one in here whenever we leave the house. Next in my diaper bag, I have all my little bag. I do not like inserts with having a bigger diaper bag and even like with bigger purses that I have. It's nice to be able to just like grab things and then you're ready to go. And I also categorize them in a way where I know where things are going to be. So when I need it, I can go and grab. So I have my breastfeeding bag, the diaper bag, and then a um, mama bag. In the diaper bag, I just have, one, two, three, four. I have five diapers and then I have a half pack of wipes that I keep in here. In my breastfeeding bag, I have disposable nursing pads and a regular pad. I have a pair of reusable bamboo bees and some nipple cream. I do keep some ethicone drops in here for when Freya is having trouble passing gas. I also have a teething necklace I wear that Freya can chew on. And lastly, I have a travel size deodorant. In my mama bag, I have some bobby pins that I keep. I also have an extra pair of contacts just in case. I do carry some band-aids and I'm sure as Freya gets older, I'll have a little first aid kit in here. I also have some gum. I do keep Tylenol. This is also great to keep in your purse. You never know when you're going to need it. I have some hair ties, an essential oil roller blend I made. It smells amazing. 
I do have some hand lotion and another hand sanitizer spray that I keep in here. And then finally, I also keep a nail file in here. Dane and Dover, when you get this bag, they do give you a wet bag, a very small pouch, and you can clip it onto the inside of the bag. And it also comes with an insulated bottle holder that you can clip on. And a changing pad with the bag, so that's pretty cool. So I just use this changing pad, um, obviously when we're out. It's nice if she does like accidentally get anything on it, it's really easy to just wipe off. So I have really enjoyed using this changing pad from them. And then the wet bag, when your baby is so young, they have poop blowouts, they have spit up, they vomit, all the things. So in here, I always have a extra outfit for Freya and then an extra shirt for me because more likely than not, it's gonna be mom who's getting spit up on and all that good stuff. So yes, I have my shirt and then an outfit for Freya. You just wanna make sure that you're sticking with her size because they do grow so fast. So this is, she's in three to six months right now. So of course this is three to six and then I just, I don't keep like the cutest outfits because more likely than not, you're not gonna always need it. So uh, yeah, I stick this one in there. And then also some socks. You never know when your baby's feet are gonna get cold and they lost a sock or whatever. So I just keep these in there too. And because I live in a very hot region, I always have a sun hat. If we're gonna be in the baby wear, I like to have this over her face or whatever. So I do keep a sun hat in this bag as well. So that's kind of it for what's in like the main pocket and then obviously the changing pad has its own pocket. Clipped to the side in here, I have our portable white noise machine. I have really enjoyed having this because yes, you can play your phone for them while you're in the car, but like the other day when she had finally fallen asleep, right when we pull up to my friend's house, we uh, kind of just strapped this to the car seat and then I put her in a quiet room in my friend's house. Obviously I was like close to the door so I could hear her crying. But um, yeah, I just had, I kept this on and she was able to sleep peacefully for another like 30 minutes or so. So a win-win for me. I also have a little swaddle blanket. I always keep one of these in here if it's chilly or whatever, or if I'm even nursing somewhere and I wanna be more discreet for whatever reason, usually I don't care, but um, I have it in here for mostly if she's cold in the car seat. So have a nice swaddle. Also in here, this is more for mom and dad, I have our bug spray and sunscreen. I also have two burp rags in here, like at all times, obviously with feeds, you're always needing a burp cloth, you can never have too many, so I keep two in here. And then I also have a extra bib for Freya because she's just drooling so much right now, she's just soaking through them so quickly. So I just have one extra one now, but I would probably take even more if we were going out for a longer trip. And then I also have my sunglasses in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for like my larger diaper bag. As you guys could see, I could fit a ton of more stuff in there. When we travel, I put all her clothes in there. Some more of her toys could definitely fit in there too. So yes, it is a great travel diaper bag for sure. If we're just gonna go like on a quick grocery run or just do something very quickly, then I will use my freshly picked bag. Um, I can fit like two or three diapers in here with a travel pack of wipes. So I only have one in here now and I'm all out of wipes, but you can see how big it is. And I have like a doggy bag just in case she poops. But yeah, it has, you can fit honestly a lot. It looks tiny, but you can fit quite a bit in here. So I ha it has that main zipper pocket right here. It has a little pocket in front. I just have like a lot of hand sanitizers there right now. Um, and then it does snap closure. And then I like to have my phone in the very back zipper pocket. And then when I do use this bag, I have in the car this changing pad. It's one of the most cushiony changing pads I've been able to find. I got it off of Amazon, so I'll have it linked below in the description. I like that it has storage built into it, so I have a small pack of wipes and some diapers in here too. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future motherhood content. I love watching what's in my diaper bag video, so let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.